You're taken into a dark cave. Your mission is to escape without getting caught. Four different colored doors appear in front of you. A red one leads to an outer galaxy without a trace of oxygen. A yellow door leads you to a great white shark-infested water tank. A blue one leads to 66 million years ago, the time when a massive asteroid hit the Earth and made dinosaurs go extinct. And a purple door leads to a beautiful island filled with beaches and delicious food. On the wall, there's only one clue. It reads, pick the door that's not a primary color. You've got 10 seconds to open the right door. It's the purple door. Red, yellow, and blue are all primary colors, while purple is secondary. Plus, don't forget there's beaches and delicious food. You've managed to escape, and now you're transported to the beautiful island. You find a citizen in need. He tells you his brother had been taken by an evil mathematician, and the only way to escape is to solve his riddle. You rush to the scene and arrive at precisely 3 p.m. There, the mathematician greets you with an angry look and a tricky riddle. If you calculate the height of my tower, you and my prisoner are free to go. If you fail, you'll stay here forever. I offer you three calculation methods to choose from. Multiple long sticks, your shadow, or the long rope hanging from the tower. I give you nine seconds. Without even knowing the measurements of the sticks or the length of the rope, even if they're the same height as the tower, you'd still not know the actual size of the building. The best option is your shadow. Knowing your height, you can compare how many times your shadow fits into the tower's shadow. Add them together, and you've just found the right answer. Now that you're safe and sound, you go to your hotel to get some rest. That's when the restaurant manager calls you for help. He left the dinner service, and his staff member said everything was quiet, so they closed up early. Before shutting down the restaurant, the manager asked them to send him a photo of the deserted restaurant. Uh, this is the photo I received. Everything seems empty, and it appears my staff members are truthful. But something seems off. Can you help me figure it out? You've got 8 seconds. It appears the image was photoshopped. The employees removed the people from the picture, but they forgot to erase someone's hand from the table. Right before walking upstairs to your room, the HR manager calls you into her office. She needs help with the job application she received for the receptionist position. She's looking for someone who is multilingual and narrowed it down to three applicants but only one person is telling the truth. Sarah is from Belgium, and she speaks Dutch. Louise is from Switzerland, and she speaks Swedish. Marie is from Monte Carlo and speaks Italian. You've got seven seconds to figure out who is truthful. It's Sarah. In Belgium, they do speak Dutch, French, and German. In Switzerland, they mainly speak German. And in Monte Carlo, French. Time to go to your room and get some rest. But uh-oh, the elevator you entered is a trap. It takes you to the hotel's basement, where three doors appear in front of you. The first door takes you to the Amazon rainforest, with green anacondas, electric eels, and poison dart frogs. The second takes you to the Antarctic Circumpolar Current, the largest and most potent current globally. The third takes you to the top of Mauna Kea in Hawaii. It's the tallest mountain and largest volcano in the world that goes below sea level. Only one of them takes you to a safe place. Which one? You've got six seconds.
pick the third door. Mauna Kea is a dormant volcano, and it stopped erupting hundreds of thousands of years ago. So you're safe. You've made it out of the shady cave and you need to go to your room. As soon as you enter, the lights go off, and you hear bars lowering to the floor and huge chains shaking. You use your arms to navigate around and come across dots on the wooden floor. You run your fingers through them. It's Braille, and it reads, One of the three magic mushrooms on this table will help you leave this place. Pick wisely. Otherwise, you'll be stuck in this dark room forever. The mushrooms on the left will make you super strong and provides healing powers. The one in the middle will bring the electricity back, and you'll be able to see. The one on the right will make you small and invisible. You've got 5 seconds to pick the right mushroom. Turning the lights on won't free you. And becoming invisible doesn't mean you won't bump into walls. The best option is the strength and healing mushroom. You can bang on the walls and bars until you break them. The next day rolls around. You head into the parking lot to pick up your car. But the car seems to be locked. There's a three-digit pin code lock on the passenger side door. On the side of the device, you read a clue. ABC equals 123. On the ground, there's a piece of paper that reads BAD. Use the clue to find pin code numbers. Here are your four seconds. The code is 214, B is the second letter, A is the first, and D is the fourth. Now that you've got your car, time to do some shopping at the mall. You visit a jewelry shop. You discover it has a mysterious extension leading to a room filled with gold coins, diamonds, and other expensive metals. As soon as the owner spots you, he traps you in the room and locks the door nice shop. He tells you there's only one way to survive in that dark chamber. You must eat one muffin. If you eat the wrong one, you won't make it. But if you pick the right one, you'll be free to go. The first muffin turns you into moss. The second one turns you into a badger. The third muffin will turn you into a snake. Three seconds. Moss can't survive without the sun for long, and snakes need the sun to regulate their body's temperature. The correct answer is the muffin that turns you into a badger. These creatures spend long periods in the dark. The mayor of the town calls you into his office. He politely ignores the fact that you're now a badger. He says that something mysterious is going on inside one of the town's restaurants. Everyone has turned into a zombie. Only one human is left in the bar, and you must save them. But first, you have to identify them. You're shown a photo with three people. Only one of them is human. You've got three seconds. It's the lady on the right. It looks like the red spot on her shirt came from her hot dog. The lady on the left is missing part of her ear. Now the mayor takes you to the local school. The principal needs to decide which of the students deserves to go to space camp next summer. She picked all the students that got A's on their report cards and gave each of them a bean. She said, The person who will return with the tallest bean plant will win the prize. But you can't cheat. All kids came back with large plant pots and bean plants filled with smaller beans. Only one girl returned with a plant pot filled with soil. As soon as the principal saw her pot, he gave her the prize. Why? Here are your three seconds. The teacher gave them cold cooked beans. They couldn't have sprouted unless the students cheated. And these guys all got A's, huh? Makes you wonder. The mayor takes you with him on an investigation. A man named Martin had finished his veggie garden and invited his friends over for a party. Then his wife vanished. He called detectives, and there are three suspects in front of you. 
Steve said he was looking at the cherry tomatoes and picked one to try it. Donna said she was checking out the little squashes that had started growing. Martin said he was taking professional pictures of the flowers for his blog. You've got two seconds to determine who's lying. It's Martin. This was a veggie garden. It didn't have any flowers. Time for your last test. You're walking into an underground tomb. You must retrieve the treasure and make it out alive. As you walk deeper and deeper into the tomb, you come across a mysterious creature. He says, You must correctly answer my riddle. If you do, the treasure is yours. If you don't, you'll disappear forever. I'm not alive, but I can grow. I don't have lungs, but I need air to breathe. If water touches me, I cease to exist. What am I? Two seconds. The answer is fire. 